Kayla fam, we have got a special, special conversation today. My friend Katie Nicole, welcome. Oh my goodness. I'm you so brought happy. the forest with you. I, I did. <laughs> okay, Katie Nicole, this is really special because you have got something that is about to debut and you needed to bring the trees to explain it all to us. What's happening? Well, I have a music video that uh -huh. is for my brand new single called Hold On. And I am going to be in these trees in this music video. Okay. And um, and it will all make sense with my frame and everything. So we're not doing Christmas? This, this no, isn't the Christmas? I know, okay. I know that, that my, but there's no ornaments involved with those Good trees. Good call. Good so call. Okay, if Narnia. If you saw ornaments, that would be, <laughs> so for future reference, when okay. there's trees and ornaments, that's Christmas. Okay. Okay, we got a yeah. Narnia vibe. All right, so Narnia. brand new video. Hold on, what are you most excited about when this song, this video is released to all of us? Man, there's a lot of things that I'm really excited about for this video and for the song. Um, it's a definitely different part of my story that hasn't really been shared because it's so deep and it's definitely a harder part of my story to talk about. Um, this video is going to kind of encompass a part of my story where I was going through severe depression and anxiety to the point where I reached for a bottle of pills one day. And when I reached for that bottle of pills, uh, that bottle of pills fell onto the floor and it spilled everywhere. And this this song is talking about the day that God said, hold on, I'm not done yet. Mm -hmm. And that moment for me was the reason that I am here today. It is the reason why I know that there is purpose in our pain. It is the reason that I feel like I have such a strong belief and a faith in, in my God. Yeah. Because He has saved my life, not just once, but on many occasions. And I feel like this song, not only it references past experience, but it can it can reference personal, present experiences right now. Like yeah. I, I still go through things sometimes where I need to be reminded that I need to hold on in my day-to-day -day life. And I really want to remind people that they are worth so much to mm -hmm. our God, that there is a purpose in their life. And that purpose has nothing to do with us, but it has everything to do with Jesus. And mm -hmm. that we were we were given this light that we get to go out into the world and we get to shine before others. So this video is going to be so many different things. And I just, I can't wait. I mean, this isn't just a made up <laughs> story. This isn't just a made up like, oh, this is a good yeah. thing because I know a lot of people are going through yeah. things similar to this, but it's what you have walked through. Yeah. And to put that really vulnerably, you know? Yeah, I think um, it's hard, I think, to put something like this out there because number one, I think this is a really tough subject to talk about. And I think especially in the Christian realm, it's like hard to explain anxiety and depression and and so and thoughts of suicide. Like that. that's a thing that I think is maybe even a taboo subject. It's kind mm -hmm. of like, but I don't want it to be. Yeah. I want it to be something that's not, um, it's not glorified, but it's also not something we don't talk about. Yeah. It, we can find our, our space in the middle where we can save a life, hopefully, mm -hmm. um, and remind someone that there's a purpose and there's a plan for them and yeah. that it's in God's hands. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I talk about lifting up the name of Jesus because that was all I could do. I mean, obviously the songs I've put out before this, that's what I talk about. I'm praising Him and yeah. I'm praising Him for being ever present in my story. But this is really me talking about how He was ever present in my story. Mm -hmm. And I want to show other people that there's a reason to live, yeah. you know? And I, like I said, it's, it's beyond any anything that we can do, but it's everything that God can do through us. Mm -hmm. And so I hope to remind somebody of that and that, you know, it's okay to not be okay to, but it's also not okay to sit there and mm -hmm. just stay there. Yeah. You can't stay there, you know, mm -hmm. because you still have things to do. There is a mission that God has placed on every person's life. And because of that, you have to trust Him. Mm -hmm. That's where faith is going to come from, is trusting that He still has a plan for you and that He still has things for you to do here in this world, you know? And and one day, we're going to go to the other side, and it's going to be a beautiful thing, and it's going to be this magical experience. But for now, we have to stay here. Yeah. We have to stay here where we are. Well, I, I love how you said, too, just to, to speak the name Jesus, yeah. because that holding on, sometimes we can do that in our own strength. Mm. Um, but I think— trusting God and even speaking as I got no other words. Lord, <laughs> all I can do is call yeah. out your name. Yeah. Um, and God gives us what we need to be able to, yeah. to hold on for that moment for yes. the next um, the next thing. And I, yeah. <laughs> I think, Katie, um, I applaud you holding the balance between the two. It's not to glorify it yeah. um, as a dramatic story. It's to no. be able to be real <laughs> and to yeah. put it out there because I think a lot of people are 
in that real life and in those real struggles. Yeah. And they call Caleb Radio all the time. Mm-hmm. And um, and to know that there's a song, I mean, there's so, so mm-hmm. many, um, but to know that it comes from a personal uh, experience that yeah. you have. And I think all of your music, yeah. if you've experienced, <laughs> if like you've ever been to a Katie Nicole show, you put your whole heart out there. I, yeah, I and, don't, I don't see any other option. I don't. I think that the real, the raw, and the honest is the only way I can connect yeah. to the people that I'm singing to. And yeah. at the end of the day, we're all following Jesus. Yep. And it's like, I think that's just such a cool thing. I don't know. And it's it's a reminder for me that I have, I, I mean, like, a big, like, platform to use. And I'm so grateful I have this big platform to use, but mm-hmm. I definitely don't want to ever take it for granted. Mm-hmm. And so if I'm going to do something in this platform, it's it's hopefully save a life, send them to Jesus. That's it. That's <laughs> like, it. <it's, laughs> yeah, like God save the lives, you know? Like that you yeah. don't burden that either. I think that, oh, no, our, I our, can't joy, carry that. <laughs> our joy is to share our stories yeah. and you share yeah. your story and you let God do that and yeah. be the seed and be the strength for somebody else yeah. that they're holding on to him. Mm-hmm. So... Thank you for putting that out there. And whatever comes against you, I just know that like yeah. there is power in the name of Jesus and you keep singing about him and you keep testifying, you know, yeah. like mm-hmm. by the words of our testimony. Well, thank you for making this video. Thank you for sharing your story. Mm-hmm. And I just pray over this that this would find hearts and minds of people that need that message to hold mm-hmm. on. Check it out at caleb.com and make sure that you share it with a friend, somebody that might need the encouragement today to hold on. Mm-hmm.